In Darwin's journal, he admitted this. He said, I am very stupid and I hate everybody and everything. And people will say, well, maybe he was just undergoing some stress and so he just said that he hates everything. And I've seen people do that. That's fair. But it takes it to a whole nother level when you realize that Darwin wrote this in his journal. He actually wrote down how much he hated the world and how much he hated everyone and everything. That's pretty incriminating that he was filled with hate. But Jesus was filled with love. In fact, he told the truth and people hated him for that. And they hated him so much that they nailed him to the cross. Darwin said at some future period, not very distant as measured by centuries, the civilized races of man will almost certainly exterminate and replace the savage races throughout the world. Darwin was a racist. He didn't like people of darker shades of skin. He would use racial slurs against them. But Jesus was not a racist. Jesus created every single person. But if you're out in public long enough, you're going to see these bumper stickers. People will say, my Darwin shark ate your Jesus fish. And they'll have a Darwin fish eating the Jesus fish. What they're trying to do is they're trying to say that Darwin was smart and Jesus was not. But I have news for them. Darwin said this, a married man is a poor slave, worse than a He says, often a cold shudder has run through me. And I have asked myself whether I may have devoted myself to a fantasy. Charles Darwin was afraid that he was living in a fantasy. He was afraid that his world may not even be based in reality. Well, he was right about that. At least he was right about something. But Jesus never said that. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus spoke in absolutes. Darwin said that he was afraid that he was living in fantasy land.